attorney. Another game day. Um, it'll be my last start of the preseason. We're driving up to Timbro today. Not first day of school, but school, yes. And then we have a practice day in between and we're playing against Mudu, who's in the Hockey all uh to finish off the preseason exhibition games. But just dropping Fox at school, and heading to the rink for morning skate. Hey. Go play with your friends. Okay, love you, bye. I check out how bad this place is back here, so get back to the front. Sing heter in med den här passningen. Det kan det gå och där sitter 1-0 för Leksand redan efter en minut och tio sekunder. Så kan det gå. Börja smyga lite grann. Fått in fyra mål här under försäsongen. Hansel så vinner den pucken in till Jonathan Dahlén. Dahlén går runt och får sig inte hela vägen runt mot Kaskiso. Halloran. Halloran trampar sig runt och sätter 1-1. Och så är det där skottet i mål och Henry. Skott läget igen och den är utanför. Albin Lundin in till Jonathan Dahlén som sätter tre. Det inte speciellt mycket av det. Kanske skott här. Nej, det är inte så från Martin Karlsson. Game recap time. Um, the lighting here is not not the greatest in the hotel room, but my preseason is now done. Um, <clears throat> Montes is going to play the Mundu game in two days, and today is a 3-1 loss against Timbro. Um, a lot of good things. Fun to be back in a in a real arena. I'm, there's a lot of people there, so that was that was exciting. Yeah, even though it was a long long bus trip. Before before the game, I felt good all the way through. Like I mentioned on that that um, Brunas game, just feel light and all the way through the game. So that's all the like I said, all the hard work this summer has paid off. So it's fun to feel that way on the ice. But they had a bunch of good chances. Um, there there's a lot of times when they were kind of all alone, all alone in front. So I uh, was able to stop. Most of those, one of them, they, they scored in the first period was kind of the breakaway. And um, then second period, the second goal, they, they had some extended power play time. So, and of course the one they end up scoring is they just kind of throw a dropping puck from the blue line, but they had a nice, nice screen going like that. And <clears throat> it doesn't matter how hard they shoot. If I just don't see it, pick it up halfway, uh, especially when it's, when it's dropping like that. Um, those are those are gonna be tough tough to save, but just gonna work a little harder to to you know read the screen and try to find the release. But they did a good job on that and just couldn't could not find it. And then the third goal, kind of at the end of the game, um, pass passes the slot, and then their guy like try to try to have a good shot, and this is shot reaction and blade and all that kind of stuff was showing like low shot and. He ended up like fanning on it. It was like a bouncing puck, just went in the far corner. So those are tough when you're taking all the information in from the shooter and like it's going somewhere else, but then it's not a perfect release, and then puck bounces off his blade. And so those are those are tough. It's almost kind of like a, trying to make a blocker save here, and then like oh the puck didn't go there. So <laughs> it's those were those were tough plays, but a lot of good things from the game. Felt good, felt confident. So I was just gonna. Take that into the the regular season st starting 
in just over a week. There's a lot of situations in the game that I wish I could talk more about my thought process and how I want to play them and what I'm trying to trying to do in those situations, but obviously I don't want to give the other teams any any kind of pre-scout or any any kind of stuff like that inside my head and possibly they could use it to beat me in the games but that's gonna do it um 11 o'clock trying to go to bed fairly early it's hard to sleep after games we're staying in Sundsvall and then tomorrow is just a practice day friday in two days is a game maybe like a couple more hours up north against mundo and then and then it's back home two days later Friday game day, um, which I'm not playing. No skate in the morning, so I'm at the hotel gym doing a little bit of extra work before the game tonight. Even though I'm not starting today, I still gotta be professional and, you know, as a goal you have to be ready if, if anything happens. You don't wanna just be checked out and get thrown in the game. So I have to do everything I can to be ready. So I figured today would be a good day to show you guys what my pre-game routine is when I get to the rink. So I'm gonna try to show you guys as much as I can. I know the days when I'm playing the filming is going to be the last thing in my mind, but um, today I feel like that's a good good way to uh, last game of the preseason to just kind of go through my pregame routine. If there's something you you can take away from that, if you have any suggestions, I'm open to that as well. But um, yeah, I know that that was something that growing up as a kid, I was always trying to find what the pro guys were doing before games, and just like you right now on YouTube, just trying to find answers. So. Um, yeah, just hopefully you get something out of this and we got a two hour bus to to the game and uh, Yeah, just gonna try to show you guys as much as I can of my pre-game routine On the road again When I get to the rink, I take a quick shower and change into workout gear. I tape the stick I'm using that night before starting my warm up. I like to play some soccer to get loose, have some laughs, and it's a good way to combine tracking and body control. Next, I activate my glutes and hip area with my PTP fit bands to make sure all those goalie muscles are firing correctly and are warm to prevent injuries. Rest of my dynamic warm-up includes more mobility for the hips, adding some deep lunges and rotations so I'll feel agile on the ice. When the blood is pumping, I'll get my eyes warmed up with tennis balls before getting dressed. I like to listen to my own music on my headphones while gearing up and drinking an energy drink from for a little caffeine boost before a warm up start.
mål som står. Dickinson är i mål direkt! Då har vi bara... Men han har... Vet, ja, det är mål! Vet, för... Det är som gäller. Styr ifrån nära håll och två ett till... Skott kommer och det är bra! Pressat därifrån Kalle Öst. Några av dem har varit högt upp i poängligan i fjol. Jag sörde Adam Zemelin, Jonathan Jonsson och Posse Karl. Det är tre av dem. Krönwin lägger in pucken i mål och tre två läxan. Ja, snyggt han gör det, men det är ju... Ett... Och han tittar på då, han tittar på Woods och pekar på dem. Woods ska skjuta, han får inte kontroll på pucken. Bernhard skjuter istället och vilket skott av David Bernhard! Frans Atlanten är inne nu. Keito, han går själv med Keito och kan avgöra den här tillställningen. Läxan CF vinner.